scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, and who bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that note Let me tell you how to receive more updates the nature of our witness is know that whatever for a long time is going to set God you on course at every time. It's so going that to the make you attain will be clear. whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. Do not mistake in God's silence. God's silence is a strategy that every time they say no one rises in this family, let's go back and serve idols. And he seemed to keep quiet. And you are saying, God, move now. Uh -uh. That's not how he walks. He keeps quiet. Because in his realm, time does not matter. In one day, he can do anything. Your entire lifetime is less than a day. So when you say, God, hurry up. He said, I don't understand that language. Hurry means what? Eternity minus five years does not mean anything to him. So he keeps quiet. Listen carefully. When it's time for him to arise, when he prepares a witness, he will give that witness something in the court of law that is called a token of truthfulness. The name is evidence. When you see God silent, it is because he's preparing his evidence. A witness is useless in the court of law if you do not come with evidence. Your evidence is a token of truthfulness. The Bible says the end of all strife is when you bring a token of truthfulness. Hmm. One who provides a testimonial evidence of what he or she claims to know. Sit down and write this please. What is an evidence? An evidence is anything presented in support or defense of an assertion. An evidence is anything presented in support or defense of an assertion. An evidence is anything presented in support or defense of an assertion an evidence is a means of establishing the validity of a fact please write it down an evidence is a means of establishing the validity of a fact hebrews chapter 6 and verse 16 hebrews 6 and verse 16 for verily men swear by the greater and an oath of confirmation is to them an end of all strife this is another name for evidence is called an oath of confirmation you stole my money do you have a witness yes go and bring the witness whoever come were you there yes did you see it yes what is your evidence that's the next question woe betides a witness who does not have an evidence it takes time as security people it takes time to build an evidence so all the journey all your experiences good and bad all the painful things the things that the bible says we know that all things work together it is a journey of building the evidence to your witness all the times of pain the times of prayer in the night that looks like god is not answering you god why are you silent he said you don't know the case you are sent to defend that's why you don't know the kind of witness i have to build two years may not build that kind of case 
you are supposed to present God to a family that has believed in idols for 150 years oh Moses a rod will not be enough Pharaoh is a wizard a rod will not convince Pharaoh enough you will need a rod you will need signs and wonders you will need miracles of nature you will even need his firstborn please sit down hear me god is calling you into ministry and after 10 years you are saying lord release me he says stay just keep praying god what is it about my own ministry my colleagues have gone ahead stay don't go anywhere let me tell you he's building evidence there is a level of power and grace that will come upon your life when he shoots you like an arrow in one day you will do what has not been done in one year hold on not everything in your life that looks negative is negative is the building of the evidence hold on do you know sometimes Ask the people who work with CIA and intelligence for them to build evidence sometimes they will have to subject themselves to be part of the problem in disguise is that true could that be why you came from the family you came from could that be why when things were working for others it didn't work for you God had to how else will they believe God lived if you did not pass through such a thing so he started follow the prophetic drama your life has been acting that you are not seeing sin one both parents go to be with the lord from your birth and you are wondering lord why is my life like this and heaven the script writer my goodness the script writer is writing and just when a car would have hit you when you said jesus is left and you thought no 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 it's part of the whole thing a day will come when you stand and say jesus is lord if anyone dares to say prove it you're going to ask them i hope you have time because i have an overwhelming evidence so choose which one you want to see is it the fact that he lifted me from the married clay is it from the fact that he blessed me in the midst of my enemies is it not the fact that he waited for every negative prophecy to finish then he started changing it one by one in the presence of everyone is it that he took me to a foreign land and blessed me there which of the evidences do you need that he's alive and heaven stands to say my goodness my god what a witness what a witness indeed what a witness indeed hmm. as a man of god hear me do not interpret things from a carnal standpoint it takes time to build evidence the stronger the evidence the more effective the witness so jesus said the ultimate evidence that i am from god destroy this temple after three days since death is the last enemy that can be destroyed in your realm if i say i am lord you will not believe it whoever owns the earth must be able to exit out of the earth and return himself back so take my life if i come back then we'll see and they said with all pleasure we even release an arm robber for your sake we've been planning to kill you now that you've offered yourself with jesus joy when he hung upon that cross he didn't hang for five minutes he hung long enough for history to capture his stay there when they were driving him to golgotha it was painfully slow are you seeing why you read the bible and sometimes it annoys you just summarize it from pontius pilate he died no it's not witness enough it's not evidence enough so he begins to give the details they slapped him and he was quiet and he said i can call ten thousand angels yet i keep quiet and then 
when he hung upon the cross he said Eloi Eloi Lamak Sabachthani take notes that the father turned his back the, the the new birth theology they did not come from the evidence the entire exegesis of the new creation was derived from the witness Paul studied all the evidences and that's where he built the case for the new believer I have been crucified with Christ he said that happened only because there was an evidence of the cross today the sign of the Christian faith is that cross nobody can deny that he hung on a cross when he died watch this when he resurrected he was not in a rush to come out he insisted until there was one person to see him and when Mary saw him she said Rabboni he said don't touch me I'm just happy you have seen it now run quickly before you forget run and go and tell the people that you've seen me I'm alive hmm. God is not done with all the arsenals of his evidence there is the last one coming one glorious morning believers and non-believers alike whether you believe in him or not there will be a shout of a trumpet that one does not need speaker we don't need to buy line arrays from heaven when you hear that your banking your schooling your preaching oh may it happen during koinonia i drop the mic for you and i say save johnny we've been saying repent if you are not interested That will be the ultimate evidence no event in human history would have ever happened like that a massive disappearance of people suddenly the king of kings will say no confusion you didn't believe in me now you watch me in a moment a twinkling of an eye is only you who will see it all all those who are not born again will not even know anything has happened they will just know that the earth has divided almost into two where are the other people this will become a bestseller after the rapture because this will be the only valid compass that helps people back no other book will matter what else is there and people will have to come and check we'll leave all these bibles for them they will read it but that is the ultimate witness but for now there are brothers there are sisters there are husbands there are wives there are nations that there are territories that have vehemently refused that jesus is lord some call him a prophet some call him a wise man some call him an intelligent character that passed through history some called him a founder of one of the 4,000 religions we have. He says, who do men say that I am? And Peter said, no, to describe you, I need the Holy Spirit to help me. I can't do this on my own. Thou art Christ. There is a world that is waiting for the demonstration, the validation of every claim of Jesus he's broken that project into several assignments what you call purpose what you call your assignment is a portion of your contribution to that universal project the name thy kingdom come there is a world listen to me very carefully that is still in doubt don't you say because there are churches full of people everybody knows god on earth out of over 7.8 or so billion people only about 2.5 2.6 billion people are professing christians including backsliders including those who may not pseudo christian activities that's not a good statistic and the father is saying where are they in nigeria there are all kinds of things plaguing and troubling the name of the lord in this country and god is saying i have men I have children but I need witnesses and there are many people who have said Lord I'm available and he said being available is not enough 
if you are going to stand before pharaoh to advocate an exodus you need more than an instruction you need an evidence pharaoh is a wizard he does not let people go just like that and when the heat starts coming he can say okay you women go but leave your men and leave your children or he will say leave your children and like the nation of israel was saying everybody is going but you will need an evidence the entire journey watch this the entire journey of moses visiting and revisiting egypt was to one end to convince pharaoh that he met the god of the bible the owner of the people he was oppressing and he said thus saith the lord god of the hebrews let my people go and pharaoh said okay i've heard you so if you met him what did he give you as a token of truthfulness and he said well for starters he gave me a rod and when he threw it down while it became a serpent pharaoh looked at him and said shame on you and the god who sent you if this is what he gave you to come and make me release 2.5 people go back and tell him that 2.5 million people would not live on so small a witness could it be that some of us are already witnesses but the nature of the evidence that we are presenting the court will not allow our families go the, the level of power that you have the level of grace that you operate in is too small for the kind of result that your assignment requires therefore Paul gives us a formula that grace and peace can be multiplied so that you stand to a point where you have sufficient evidence acts chapter 10 and verse 38 it says how god anointed jesus of nazareth brothers and sisters with the holy ghost look at the extent the assignment of jesus required overwhelming witness as soon as he showed up he didn't have time to go to a radio station to say i'm here evidence is all around your mother-in-law is sick madam stand up the kingdom has come to you he gathered people and he said i want to teach you on this kingdom that i have brought and they listened they listened till they were hungry and some of them started going wicked man you wasted our time three days talking nonsense he said call them back i want to feed them and the disciples said don't don't aggravate these people they will kill us here and a young lad came with five loaves and two fish he blessed it and he says you the servers alongside the audience learn the power of this kingdom that we boast of go and serve and as they went the bread began to multiply ah it's not what you have is what is on what you have what is on what you have if five loaves and two fish can feed five thousand then it is not the loaf and the fish is what came on it that's what you must pray for to come on what is in your account that's what you must pray for to come on what is on your mind sometimes it's not more things it's more grace on what you have is god helping us tonight my dear sister god has been on a journey with you for decades and you are wondering lord what is the name of what you are doing with me I'm giving you the name tonight he's building the case for the evidence that will make you a faithful witness apostle I, the only thing I know is that I had a dream years ago and in that dream God said I'm going to become a great prophet to the nations and that's all he would just make me to pray for three days just when I want to eat he will say pray for and fast for three more days what is he doing with me my whole family members called me the black sheep remember a case is being built the day he sends you the rod that was used there will now become the rod of power the day that he sends you that scar will now become an instrument of power i know what i'm saying run away from witnesses with no scars they don't have an evidence Paul said, let no man trouble me. 
you want to use in be used by god in this end time is not without scars a testament of your waiting a testament of your staying apostle i believe that god has called me but for five years we've not crossed 20 people in that church i love god i'm doing all i know to do be careful what you call small and be careful what you call delay the 20 people you are leading are not your members they are your leaders you have been training for that long members have not started coming members come when leaders are trained so the 20 people you have been laughing at and saying let members come let rich people come to my church shame on your anointing if you have to wait for blessed people to come when you make blessed people by that grace it proves you are called go around disturbing blessed people as though they are the ones who call you listen the training process of a witness is a hard training some of you i'm describing it to you because you are currently in the cave of adulam right now you are saying lord what is wrong with my life I'm a beautiful woman but nobody is coming to marry me I'm a wonderful woman I, I, I've done all I know to do and yet I'm not able to have a child I, I graduated and 10 years 12 years nobody has come to give me a job be patient there is an evidence that is being built don't corrupt the power of the testimony that is waiting for you through impatience hear me behind every glory there is a story the story is what makes the glory desirable if the bible just said jesus came he walked he died he resurrected even me i will not give my life to him i won't give my life to that kind of story but then when i see his passion he went through this for me there must be something special about me that's how those you are called to serve will thank you when they hear what you had to go through to be a savior they say you had to go through this to be a prophet is this the price of being an apostle is this the price of being the kingdom millionaire now they will not just clap for you because you're a billionaire they will clap for you because you're a testament of endurance you went through this so that my children will eat you went through this so that nations will be built I once prayed for a politician who was so frustrated and he told me he said apostle every time i want to stop i have spent money i campaign i do my best but then things don't seem to work out sometimes even when i know that you know everything turned in my favor i'm tired of all this i've been offered all kinds of options but i've made up my mind to stand for christ and i told him i said do you think God is wasting your time hmm. Joseph what would your story be if you were not in the prison would we really believe that God delivers the prison is where both good and bad people meet <laughs> be careful who you point in the prison because the prison is the meeting place for both good and bad people Joseph is in the prison the wine pressers are in the prison. Jesus is on the cross. The thieves are on the cross. There is a place where both good and bad meet. That's why when you don't understand what is happening with the lives of people, keep quiet and pray. Because they may be in the prison there to help those who are in the prison. Are you getting what I'm saying now? Why are bad things happening to this person? His brother just died. His sister just died. He's broke. He's a failure. Shame on him. You are an embarrassment to redemption. Children in the faith can talk that. But those who have truly passed through the school of the spirit understand. They can just pray and say, look, relative to your service, the result you are getting is not matching. God is doing something. Just be patient. There are times that you see the actor in a movie beating you even think he's dead. 
just when you are about to sympathize with him you see his hands moving and he gives you a ray of hope but in the end of it you will see victory believers some of you may not like what i'm teaching you but the making of a witness is not on the dining table with tea and bread the fullness of affliction is how witnesses are made i repeat the fullness of affliction there are prayers you can never pray away you only pray for grace to pass through it is a baptism you must drink of and it is a cup that you must drink of and be baptized with that baptism apostle i want power there is only a limit impartation can do you must dig your own well there are times when people are sleeping you are awake and god is saying the anointing i'm giving you is not for a local assembly i'm sending you to the nations you study your bible you finish it god says start again and you say god you are not fair i've finished my bible five times i've not preached one sermon that preaching that is itching you you will preach and be tired and thank god for the residue of what you have now he says eat for the journey is far there was a time in my life i would not spend up to two weeks except during election i didn't spend up to two weeks at home because of demand traveling traveling don't rush seasons in your life you will miss the season you are trying to rush out of right now don't rush man of god stop carrying complimentary cards around invite me god called me the fact that you have to beg people to believe you is a sign that your evidence is little or zero the key to publicizing yourself is to remain in the secret place you are studying scripture you are learning the day they give you a mic to preach in one conference you will so represent the purposes of god in a way that you will never go back while joseph was in that prison i remember him just saying god fan these flames you have called me to be a great man i had a dream and in that dream i saw the sun the moon and the 11 stars but how would it happen and then god said son we have worked on this gift it's time to use it two people have dreams and he interprets the dream and even when one tried to forget him God now gave the king a dream and shot the heavens over the wise men, the sorcerers, and the, the wine presser said, I remember my wrong. There is a young man. Can I tell you this? Everything today that God is using as a weapon and teaching you how to fight with, I promise you he will use it tomorrow. Your intelligence, your beauty, your grace, your voice, your fasting, none of it is a waste you listen i i don't i don't watch so much of of television but sometimes i watch a channel called food network are we together and then there's this competition that they do sometimes you almost can guess what they will ask you to cook with the kind of ingredients that you see there so i want you to look at your life and look at the kind of weapons god is giving you it should suggest where you are going to the weapon of patience the weapon of endurance come on now you are smart enough to suspect and it's safe to suspect lord why are you giving me the weapon of patience why are you giving me endurance why are you training me to war why are you training me to pray why will i pray seven days dry and God says, you just do what I'm telling you. David, I'm training you with a lion and a bear. But that's not what will give you honor. They are only schoolmasters. The person you are going to fight is not a lion. The person you are going to fight is not a bear. I can't use Goliath to train you. So I will use what looks like Goliath. So you kill the lion, nobody says thank you. I'm teaching you self-control. You kill the bear, nobody says thank you. You are there in the wilderness. Then one day, can I tell you this? When your season of appearing comes, eh? It does not look like it. You will get home in the morning and walk out like a normal day, not knowing that that is the day heaven has signed to honor and announce you. The young boy went to go and give his brothers food. And when he went, he saw a a 
beast with six fingers and six toes roaring at veterans of war and yet none of them had the courage to fight and immediately he saw them he remembered i have an evidence over i have an evidence he went to meet the brothers and they say if you don't turn back i will slap you now you think we think we are feeding sheep here he said this god disguised me using sheep but it's not sheep that i've been tending to the same way god used you he used a job to bring you to abuja it's not the job the job gave you a platform to come here and hear this truth he can bless you anywhere listen god is a master of using situations to move you to prophecy he can use a discussion at the back of your car to connect you to a destiny helper listen always see the mystery behind the activities you are involved with god can use a sick patient in the hospital and force you to get to that hospital because someone in that hospital is connected to your next level it's not about the hospital if joseph was not in the prison how would he meet the wine presser that's why the bible says in everything give thanks complaining is an indictment on god's integrity you are you are only seeing part of the acting give thanks because there is something he's doing god is raising mighty man in this place god is raising people of power in this place god is raising signs and wonders in this place and he won't stop he won't stop till you look just like him he won't stop no he won't stop till your life looks like him he won't stop he won't stop till you look just like him you may cry but he won't stop till you look just like him you may be weak but he won't stop till you look just like him please don't stop please don't stop till my life looks like you please don't stop please don't stop till my life looks like you god is teaching us how to interpret the writings on the wall it was persecution that came as a disguise and spread the apostles to different regions when you truly become secured in the love of god you interpret everything in your life with respect to his love and with respect to your assignment there must be something you are doing oh god no for my brother to just die for my son to just die there is something you are doing i may not understand but praise the lord thine is the glory thine is the kingdom thine is the power hear me believers we must raise people who have a spiritual understanding and how to interpret things lord why am i in this nation why was i not born in the u.s or in the uk now you know the answer there is an evidence he wants to use you as a specimen of his power that nations can be transformed through men who love jesus let me bring you a word of encouragement i sense in my spirit that many believers are currently in the cave of adulam there are families who are wondering lord why will i be fasting and praying husband and wife and yet we don't seem to afford a meal we are not lazy we've gone to men of god for prayer we've sown seeds every time you've done right and things don't seem to happen something is going on behind the scenes i assure you every time you know you are walking in obedience and truth and yet things don't change god is preparing something sometimes it may be a table he's preparing before you witness i wonder what happened to potiphar when they anointed pharaoh
when they anointed Joseph to become prime minister I'm sure Joseph would look at Potiphar and say hello Potiphar how are you and Potiphar says oh dear and he said no 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 don't worry please hear me brothers and sisters God brought us tonight to teach us the ways of the kingdom that more than believers more than pastors more than business people more than mothers more than fathers he's called us to be witnesses do you know mary's whole assignment was to give birth her assignment was not to be a preacher her assignment was not your assignment on earth can be done in one day do you know that yes sir your assignment can be to give birth to that prophet who will spearhead the revival no one that demons saw it and they are attacking you attacking you attacking you and when that is happening god says don't worry i'm writing something could it be oh dear politician that god reserved you for such a time as this because he reserves his best for the last there are men of god here who are saying god is it seems like you are not utilizing the grace you have put upon my life when a football club is playing a serious tournament are we together now and when they find out that the team they are about to face maybe semi-finals or finals is a serious team they would do well to keep their best players behind because it can be a strategy with the opposing team to injure and incapacitate the key players and so for the purpose of that final match god will retreat certain people and you will see such a professional player itching but on the reserve that's what is happening to some of you god it looks like you are disgracing me you are falling my hand and god says no no wonder you are not god you are my child because you don't understand you are not thinking my thoughts i'm waiting until someone makes a statement that over his dead body for anybody to rise in this family god says now you are ready to come out i want to unleash my finest i want to unleash my brightest and the day you step your feet in that place and you say i hear there is someone who mocks the name of the lord here and the man says be careful do you know how your father died said of course i know how my father died on the cross i don't know which one you are talking about then the man knows that you are not just speaking by the flesh again ladies and gentlemen it is by this mystery that god by his mercy has brought us thus far we did not come here by luck we came here by death the price for life death the price for life two things will happen here very quickly we're going to pray and there's going to be a very serious impartation here the Lord gave me an instruction listen I sense in my heart that there are some of you who are coming to the end of seasons of training listen listen it may not be everybody be sensitive i sense that there are people in the fivefold there are people who your faithfulness is like there has been a marking of your script in the realm of the spirit and even you some of you from early this year you started sensing when a woman is about to give birth i'm not a woman i may never be one i will never be one in jesus name but then listen carefully from the experience of those who have given birth the last trimester of a woman and the moments even days before she gives birth they are delicate moments is that true correct me if i'm wrong but i know that most women prepare their things baby things already they are not ready for stories they move around with it because any moment sometimes it can happen by two o'clock she wakes her husband he says don't come I'm, I'm, you better wake up wake up because a miracle is about to happen let me tell you this i'm sensing in my spirit some of you the way you have been fasting 
the way you have been praying the kinds of disciplines that God has been subjecting you through please hear me oh Esther could it be that it is time to see Ahasuerus oh Ruth could it be that it is time to see Boaz Joseph could it be that you are a day left to meet your king David could it be that the time has come to see Goliath anyone who falls in the day of battle is proof you were not trained well could it be that God has seemed to be delaying you because your destiny helper is about to show up the day he entered into the country you started sensing in your spirit that there is a shift you even had dreams for some of you God uses similitudes he would not tell you exactly but you saw a celebration in your dream and you woke up and said for what in one room I have used similitudes I have multiplied visions I have come tonight as a midwife because it's time to push I have come tonight prophetically as a midwife some of you you have been carrying these children for decades you have been carrying the anointing the, the office of a miracle worker now Renard Bonke has gone to be with the Lord now many of these people have gone to be with the Lord for many of them there are vacuums Catherine Kuhlmans MV Sample McPherson's there are businessmen who you do not even know of who control the economy of nations mantles are falling here tonight anointings are falling here tonight miracles are happening here tonight for the kings to arise for revival to return for the kings to be born for revival to return yeah ali ali yo oh, ali yo oh, oh. ali ali yo oh. Many years ago, somewhere in Zaria, I used to go and pray every night. And I didn't know what God was doing. Just go pray like a fool, come back, pray like a fool. Was barely learning things about the anointing. I didn't know that it was an apostolic call to the nations. I just kept obeying blindly. I will never forget one night. That was the first time I was going to minister to someone. It was a lady late in the night i lifted my hands for the first time to lay my hands on her and there she went under the anointing i had seen this with benny Hinn. i had seen this with papa hagen now this is happening through my life my god is it a new season then the next time i remember going for a meeting and i stood out barely lifted my hands i began to see manifestations of god's power I said what is this i have always known about the call of god but what call and how far for four years now god has been telling you empty your account and you've been emptying your account like a fool lord what are you doing with me i'm telling you i've come to midwife that prophecy now you will understand that he's teaching you because of the kind of wealth you will be holding the wealth that is equivalent to the economy of nations and so he does not want your heart to be inclined to it please don't think i'm just entertaining you we are going to pray and you will receive something from heaven do you know why jesus christ did not do impartation from day one you read his mentorship strategy the guys were even angry won't you lay hands on us we want to shine and he said keep quiet you will shine till you don't till you die but hold on and then when he had taught them to the point that when he resurrected he didn't even have time to celebrate his victory he said yes let's go back to the class 
when he was done he said now you tarry in 10 days time there is one who is called the paraclet the one who is the ultimate evidence you were not there on the cross but there is one who has been sent who was there it is in partnership with him that you can tell the world he reigns Today we are able to tell the nations he's alive. Not because we were there when he died. We are able to tell nations that he can lift you. We are able to tell territories that when he speaks, he says what he means. And he means what he says. Because the cave of Adulam by the privilege of God's grace has cultured us and is still building us into what today the world is celebrating you may cry but don't hurry seasons hear me there are many people who do not know what god is making out of your life the bible says now are we the sons of god and it doth not yet appear there are some of you your assignment is not in this nation you were only trained in this nation when god is done with you he will shoot you like an arrow the west still needs the power of god they brought technology we are grateful they brought all kinds of things we are grateful but right now with the kind of spiritual decadence i tell you there are saviors that are rising from the cave of adulam and god will start shooting them to asia europe canada us because there is a harvest that must be prepared the move of god that is coming is not just a move of crusades alone we're going to be discussing next week the other part of this when we discuss the geography of your witness there are people who when god is done with you there is no power that can stop you from winning that election the reason is because god is the one putting you there to do what he has trained you to do two prayer points are you ready prayer point number one i'm available lord make me usable lift your voice and cry please pray don't be distracted. I'm yours, I'm yours. Pray. I'm yours forever. I'm yours, I'm yours. I'm yours. My life is yours, it's yours. It's yours forever. It's yours, it's yours, it's yours. Lord, I'm yours, I'm yours, I'm yours forever. I'm yours, I'm yours, I'm yours. My life is yours, it's yours. It's yours forever. Don't be ashamed of your tears. Whatever you ask of me, I will do. Whatever you ask of me, whatever you ask of me, I surrender. For this purpose you were born. For this purpose you were raised. Whatever you ask of me, I surrender. Lord, I'm available. Whatever you ask of me, whatever you ask of me, I surrender. Let it be from the depth of your heart. Whatever you ask of me. hallelujah listen listen i truly believe with all my heart that the caliber of men and women that god is raising for the end times i truly believe the world has not seen them yet many of them are silent in the cave of adulam nobody knows them some of them are not even on tv no ushers no protocol but there is fire 
the refiner's fire is working some of them are even in villages they are not just in cities wearing suits at the back of that hut at the back of that tree praying and saying lord i'm available hear me i know that there are many blessed people here thanks to god there are many blessed people listening and following but can i tell you this the kind of wealth that will lift the name of jesus in this end time i assure you we've not seen it yet no no wealth that will save nations in one day not just estates not just oil and gas thank god for these things some of you god is calling you into the ministry of kingdom wealth and financing but you are receiving the training of a prophet and you are saying lord is too hard the reason is because all of us are the same thing witnesses so whether you are a pastor or a businessman god will train you together he's telling the pastor fast seven days you fast seven days politician fast seven days and you are wondering lord is it not too harsh i'm showing you the mystery now there are men and women here that god will be committing the resources of nations i'm telling you this individuals i have seen this many times in my visions there are some of you god has called you and is the ministry of influence gatekeepers of systems and structures and as it is now you are still like hadassah do not mind how you will get to the palace leave that to the intelligence of the script writer yours is to stay some of you are like mordecai your honor is there you've helped many people but you've been forgotten still remain at the gate a day will come the king will not be able to sleep allow the script writer to do his work whatever you ask of me whatever you ask of me i surrender let me teach you something that you must learn every time isaac is delayed be careful if you are not careful you will give birth to what will eventually fight isaac every time the season has come close be careful the devil can position hagar and hagar will give birth to something that is not the promise the ability to stay to the end is where the stamina of the believer comes from some of you are one week left in your training some of you are one month left haven't done 12 years what is one month that you cannot finish your assignment is to obtain grace to push a woman will not say i've been pushing for the last six hours i will not push again for as long as she has strength and there's something called induction where doctors can induce the woman and labor can start please listen to me the lord sent me to this city and the lord sent us and brought this convergence not for showmanship it is because seasons i tell you this write it down seasons are changing in this nation I've not made any prophetic statement over the nation or prophetic teaching since I came to this city. But God will grant grace and the times will come. But for now, hear what I'm telling you. The tide is changing. Spiritually speaking in the body of Christ, the tide is changing. As far as the birthing of prophecy is concerned, the tide is changing can i tell you this those who refuse to position themselves you will be surprised that god gave you an assignment but you see someone leaving your assignment because god will not allow your carelessness you know this thing about destiny is a relay someone's life is tied to your own fulfilling your purpose and if you are delaying god and delaying other people his bishopric can be given to another just because god called you does not mean he must use you no there are conditions 
you can use your will to say lord i'm not interested he will honor you and you will watch somebody living your dreams second prayer point father the staying power to finish this season of training i receive grace lift your voice and pray please pray please pray oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. But I obtain grace of God. Grace to stay in ministry. Grace to stay as far as my assignment is concerned. Oh. I can hear with the ears of the Spirit and I see a mighty army rising yes i know they're coming from afar rising from afar rising from afar yeah. 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 There was a man sent from God through Kogi State. Sent from God through Benway State. Sent from God. You are not from your state of origin. You will only pass through your state of origin. There was a man sent from God. Passed through the womb of your mother and your father now it's time for you to rise and understand your prophetic identity you have understood your biological identity you have understood your geographic and your demographic identity you have understood your sociological identity it's time for you to understand your divine identity now listen to me Please look up, everybody. There is a pattern of the spiritual trainings that make up a witness. A witness is not only a witness because God said it. A witness is a witness like a student. You pass a medical student through a school and there are times dissecting cadavers you feel irritated the smell of formalin and all the inconveniences of learning anatomy physiology you're going through all that pain and you want to give up but then you remember that lives are tied to what i'm learning at the end of it when you become a consultant and god helps you to build a hospital and you see the thousands of lives that send you text messages and say thank you doctor thank you for pr professor thank you for not giving up when other people were crying thank you for continuing can i tell you this tomorrow nations will say thank you for coming to for koinonia they will tell you they will say thank you you had an option you were tired from office from church but you came thank you for hearing what you heard thank you for believing what you heard and thank you for using what you heard it says thou art my battle axe my weapon 
of war i submit to you ladies and gentlemen people of god family of god that god is still searching for men not many can pass through the school of the spirit to be shaped and to be built this is the making of a witness this is how the great are made this is how champions are made in the kingdom it is the reason why when they rise and you talk against them whether in secret or in public god judges you because there is blood dripping on their altar constantly the blood that is a testament of their pain and their endurance let this week for you be a week of serious spiritual emphasis as you contemplate on your prophetic destiny of being a witness now you are about to receive something this would be an impartation you would live to remember please open your heart in one minute and say lord the grace that it takes for the new season in my life i open up my spirit go ahead and pray please pray Oh, come, oh, come, Emmanuel, and ransom captive Israel. Oh, come, oh, come, Emmanuel, and ransom captive Israel. Rejoice, rejoice. Emmanuel has come to you, his Israel. He has come to you, his Israel. He is lifting you, his Israel. He is restoring you. He's Israel. He's anointing you. He's Israel. Rejoice, rejoice. Emmanuel has come to you. He's Israel. Anointing you is Israel. Advancing you is Israel. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God, I declare, Father, there are men and women here who have been in the cave of Adullam, going through the trainings of the Spirit, fasting, building going through shame going through reproach for the sake of the witness like john in the isle of patmos on account of the testimony of their witness they have endured many things they have received many stripes father i pray in the name of jesus to you O god of my covenant let fire from heaven that is able to anoint and equip men and women let it fall right now at the count of three one two three take that fire take that fire take that fire take that fire oh deborah i speak to you arise by the spirit women in the order of anna sarah deborah in the name of jesus men and women of the gospel i speak to you i place upon you the grace for the prophetic the grace for the apostolic the grace for the, the evangelistic the dreams that you had i give life to them by the power of the holy ghost receive receive hear me there are some of you like esther the palace is your destiny it's time for that grace to come upon you. I stand like Haggai, the keeper of the king's virgins. There is an oil I'm about to give you. You will need that oil for Ahasuerus to receive you. 
Therefore, I stretch my hands. May the Esther anointing come upon everyone here called into government, called into influence. Take that grace. Take that grace. Take that grace. Politicians, take that grace. Members of parliament, take that grace. Captains of industry, take that grace. There are men and women who need to step into dimensions of wealth transfer because of the assignment. It's not just about the products and the services that you offer alone. That is principal, but there is a grace that is connected to prophecy and destiny. I want to pray for you. Lord, mantles that make for wealth and prosperity, not just for self-aggrandizement. I stand by the privilege of God, the God of heaven who is the helper of us all. Ebenezer, the one who can help men. I speak to you. Carry that mantle now. Carry that grace now upon your business carry that grace now in the name of jesus please pay attention we're receiving an impartation there are women here who are like mary what is in your womb is more than a child you are betting saviors i stretch my hands in the name of jesus i decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit, the grace to step into prophecy, may that grace rest upon you now. Oh, oh, oh. your lifting has come. Oh, oh, oh. your lifting has come. There are music ministers here. God has been training you, but this nation has not heard your songs. Africa is yet to hear your songs. I place grace upon your worship. I give it wings by prophecy. I stand by the rod of the apostolic and the prophetic. I push you. Speak to the nations. Sing to the nations. In the name of Jesus Christ. There are people here that have the destiny of saviors. Your families are at the mercy of your rising. But it looks like there are powers sitting on your destiny that have vowed that you will never rise. I stand by the God of my covenant, the one who called me. Any power sitting upon your prophecy, any power sitting upon the next level of your life, I come by two rods of the apostolic and the prophetic. I scatter it right now. I scatter it right now. I scatter it right now. Find visibility in the name of Jesus Christ. Hear me. There are some of you. God has given you a kingmaker anointing. You don't become kings yourself. But you can enthrone kings and you can remove them. It's a dimension of the prophetic but you have not walked in it yet in the name that is above all names i stretch my hands and i declare the grace to enthrone kings receive that grace now in the name of jesus 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 Everything that your hands have started, but mysteriously you have not been able to finish because there are powers that stand. He says, Once again, I desire to come to you, but Satan hindered us in the name of Jesus Christ, in the name that is above all names. I declare the finisher's anointing may it rest upon you. The finisher's anointing. The finisher's anointing. Take that grace now.
we are rounding up don't be tired hear me he said isaac dug a well and the philistines covered it he dug another well they covered it he dug the third one and they left him he called it Rehoboth. he said god has given me my own space can i tell you this i want to pray for you you must be tired of escorting people in destiny and not finding a place lord where is my place in this city financially spiritually that god is a god of portions i speak to you let me first speak to this city abuja hear the word of the lord i speak by the rod of the apostolic and the prophetic the portion of god's people in the name of jesus deliver to them now deliver to them now and every nation you are watching from every territory and region you're following from your portion in that land the bible says as for the earth out of it comes bread he said the increase of the field is for all that even the king eats from the increase may your portion come to you in the name of jesus christ two more prayers and we're done want to crush the powers that fight visibility please understand what i'm telling you it says and i if i be lifted up christ cannot be glorified when we are in hiding god must give us elevated platforms of influence some of you in the area of royalty some in the area of government in business by god's grace we have sufficient spiritual intelligence to know that spirituality blindly without influence will not be able to do much for the kingdom from a territorial standpoint are we together there is a grace that makes for visibility some of you have served god acceptably you have your small prayer groups you have your different platforms and you have been serving faithfully but you are now asking lord how will i be lifted it takes prophecy to lift you and here comes the prophetic word i decree and declare to you in the name that is above all names by the power that raised christ from the dead the platform that you need for the next season of your life to glorify jesus the platform you need for the next season of your life to bring nations to the cross the platform you need the elevated platform that translates to nation building that translates to kingdom advance that translates to the betterment of lives i speak to you by prophecy rise to that level rise to that level rise to that level rise to that level I will not be silent. I will always worship you. Let it be your commitment. As long as, as, long as I am breathing, I One more time with understanding and I will Please listen carefully let's just listen to this prophetic instruction now i want to challenge you please just discipline yourself and obtain grace and submit to this training and what what happens in your life i want to challenge you all together as a family of faith global let's obtain grace from god 
that from tomorrow up until saturday trust god for grace from 12 midnight to 12 30 let it find you praying 12 midnight koinonia global everywhere please put it on social media invite anyone across this is not just a koinonia thing we are sent to the body of christ 12 on the dot do yourself a favor don't worry if you are on a medical if it's a medical thing that's all right and maybe little children that go to school that's all right you can pray for them but every priest 12 on the dot i won't come online don't expect to see me i'll be praying and and taking god seriously you don't have to wait till you are primed find any worship find any koinonia video you can find on the internet the media can help you listen to something and pray your married trust god for grace tap your wife and say can we try it you just do what i'm asking you to do in obedience and understanding it does not kill 12 to 12 30 blasting tongues you are praying making decrees over your destiny in the name of jesus i am forcefully advancing we are doing this as a family please media remind people every day from tomorrow let's say if you some of you if you have grace you can start from tonight but officially tomorrow down till saturday 12 on the dot let a prophetic bell alarm clock wherever you are you are praying worship is playing you are connecting in the spirit let's do this together as a family of faith and then come on sunday inviting everyone and god brings the balance of this series and let fire fall from heaven and let's see the devil that stops you from moving in this season are we in agreement on this please listen following online i know that we have the difference of time zones it is it is 12 midnight zero zero gmt plus one let's work with our time it doesn't have to be night your time whatever time permit our bias it is nigerian time 12 midnight fire from heaven monday tuesday fire wednesday fire you just keep praying the flesh may be weak say flesh you are joking <clears throat> A few minutes to 12, you can water down with some scriptures. Prepare your arsenals and hold on to the four horns of the altar. See what happens to your prayer life. See the testimonies that you will bring here. I'm challenging the body of Christ. Participate in this. This is not just some ministry activity. We are doing this with intelligence. Hello, scriptures exhort us from the book of Proverbs. It says, my son, attend to my sins, incline thy ears to my words. Let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well that you will keep these words in the midst of your heart that no matter the circumstance your eyes are going to be fixed on these words and as you have been blessed we will tell you to share this message be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed and then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos we have loads of content that is going to make you blessed that is going to set you on course that is going to set you ablaze and don't forget to like for us. Thank you.